Hi there, my name is Alana, and today we're going to be comparing two absolutely beautiful YSL bags. We have the YSL Wallet on Chain and the YSL Blogger bag. These are two absolutely beautiful bags from YSL, or I guess we're supposed to call it Saint Laurent right now, but as far as I'm concerned, you can't have Saint Laurent without the Y. So I'm going to keep calling it YSL because here on my channel, I can do whatever I want. Now these are two absolutely beautiful bags. If you're familiar with my channel, you will know that the Wallet on Chain is a beloved bag in my collection. And well, I don't own the Blogger bag, my friend Emily has been kind enough to lend it to me, you know, so that way I can test it out and review it on this channel because we thought that comparing these two bags would be super, super helpful. I'm gonna leave Emily's channel linked down below if you wanna check her out. But without any further ado, I'm just gonna share a little bit about the plan for the video and then we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna start with a little bit of a comparison between the two bags. Then I'm gonna show you what fits inside. Then, I was about to say finally, but then I'm gonna share with you some mod shots on both myself and my friend Emily so you can see these two bags on two different body types. Finally, I'm gonna share my final thoughts with you. And then you can make up your mind to see if either of these bags is right for you in your collection. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna start this video with a quick overview of these two beautiful YSL bags. So first up, we have the YSL Blogger bag. I think most known and most notable for its impressive tassel. Like that tassel has quite some heft to it. And if you can see, I hope, I hope it'll be in focus, but it almost has like a tassel, almost like wrapped around the top. And again, I just can't express how much heavier this tassel is than I thought. Now this bag has a leather strap. It is not adjustable, but what my friend likes to do is tie the top so it sits a little different. She has given me permission to untie it. And as you can see, if you were to smooth it out a little bit, it would look fine, it's, you know, but I think if this is the kind of bag that you wanna tie the tassel on top, tassel, this is the kind of bag that you wanna tie the strap on um, to make it suit better. I mean, at the end of the day, it's your bag and this bag is meant to look great on you. Um, I will say the bag is about four years old and I think it is held up really, really beautifully. I know that my friend Emily uses this bag not gonna say every day, but quite frequently, and everything from the hardware to the leather, it looks really good. It definitely looks worn in a little bit, but I find a luxury bags that a little wear on a bag, I think really gives it some character and just really just shows that it's a piece that you love wearing. I think it looks like it's in great condition, and honestly, if she was selling this bag at a you know reasonable pre-loved price, I definitely would not hesitate to buy it. And I think that that's a really great way to look at how wear and tear looks on a bag. No real scuffs, just nothing, honestly nothing really to report. It just looks like a bag that is well loved and in great condition. Now this bag I think lends itself really well to being an everyday bag, to being a little bit more of a casual bag. I think this would be a great bag um, you know, if you're traveling around the city, maybe you're going to New York or going through the airport. I think this is the kind of bag that would hold all of your essentials but still allow you to go hands-free so that way you can, whether it's enjoying a long walk through Central Park or a long walk between airport terminals, um, I think it'll have your essentials on hand for you, um, but not having to worry about being weighed down by something heavy. The other thing I love about a small bag like this from an everyday perspective, if you are traveling and you have your carry-on and then you have your personal item, you can wear this crossbody around the airport so you have everything you need, but because I know airlines can be really strict on those two items, you can just easily pop this into your carry-on so that way you get on the plane with only two bags, but you have the added functionality of a really small on-the-go piece. And I wanna contrast that with the uh, YSL kind of wallet on chain envelope bag. So one thing I love about this bag, and we're gonna get to something else about this one in just a moment, so hold your breath, don't you worry, but one thing I love about this bag is that it has that classic chevron. And I also really love that it has the pebbled leather. I've also had this bag for, gosh, over four years as well, although I don't use mine nearly as much as Emily has used hers because this is an evening bag and we've been living through a little bit of a global moment where evening events, going out to dinner, parties, or doing anything enjoyable hasn't really been a thing I've gotten to do. But I am really excited um, as things start to open up and have opened up significantly to give this bag some of the love and attention it deserves. Now, this bag is available in a wide variety of colors and 
you know, I would totally be down to pick it up in the beige. I think the beige and gold is beautiful with YSL, but I think if you're looking for a first YSL bag, you'll see that Emily and I both went with the black and gold. So I love that this bag has that kind of the textured pebbled leather in the chevron shape. I think that this bag, while you could use it um, for every day, I think it is maybe, it, it's interesting because if you wear this as an everyday bag, it feels a little bit edgier, whereas I really do feel like the blogger bag is cuter. However, if you wear this bag in the evening to an event, whether just as a clutch or crossbody, then I think it becomes a really classic bag that transcends the ages. So if you were looking for an evening bag, I think you can't go wrong with the YSL Wallet on Chain, but if you were looking for an everyday bag, then I would definitely recommend the Blogger. Now, the Blogger bag has been discontinued, and so I'm gonna pop up here uh, your two alternatives. So the Blogger bag, if you're looking to purchase it pre-loved, I'm gonna leave it linked down below. You're looking at spending just under a thousand dollars Canadian somewhere in that sort of 950 range which for a YSL bag you know not too bad not too bad if you're looking to purchase the uh, wild on chain new Canadian you're looking at two thousand and ten dollars now when I purchased this bag a couple of years ago it was a few hundred dollars less expensive but of course, uh, luxury bags are always going up in price. Now, I will also leave some pre-loved options that I think are really lovely if you're interested in this bag, both in black and in some of the other shades that excite me. The dimensions on the blogger bag are 5.9 inches by 4.7 inches by 2.4. So 2.4 inches wide. Now we're gonna compare that to some alternatives that YSL has in its line if you're looking to purchase new. The wallet on chain is 7.4 inches wide by 4.9 inches tall, 1.3 inches in depth along here, with a strap drop maximum length of 32.6 inches. It's important to note the metal strap that there really is not a way to shorten that. I mean, unless you were to take it into like a jeweler or something and have some of the, the chains taken off, but you can't really tie it or adjust it in any way. Now I find that it does fit me crossbody. I like it over the shoulder, but I most love it most of all as a handheld clutch. We are gonna get into some mod shots a little bit later in the video of both bags. Now maybe you're looking at these two bags and saying, oh my goodness, I wish they could have a baby. And you are in luck because they do. And that is the YSL Mini Lou Chain Bag, available in black, available in a range of colors. And I'm gonna pop the picture up right here, but you basically have this shape, but this size with this chevron and this leather with effectively this tassel. So that bag retails for 1,430 Canadian dollars and it's about seven inches long, so a little shorter, four and a half inches tall, so a little smaller, and two inches wide. So honestly, if these two bags had a baby, that would be the Saint Laurent Black Mini Lou Chain Bag. Another option, which I think is lovely, is a little bit smaller than the blogger bag, and that is the Black Baby, well, black, it could be whatever shade you want, but we're gonna stick in the black family. It is the Baby Lou Chain Bag. I'm gonna pop it right over here. It is 870 Canadian dollars. And again, you have the kind of the textured, the grain de poudre, I believe that's how you say it. If I pronounced it wrong, I'm only a little bit sorry. Uh, but you have the sort of the textured leather, you've got the chevron going on, but you have the tassel and the smaller bag. The only thing to keep in mind is that that bag is even smaller than this one. And that one comes in at four and a half inches long, 3.25 tall and 1.75 wide. So in every dimension, it is a touch smaller. Now, like I said, even though the blogger bag is discontinued, I think it is a really beautiful option and you're in luck because it is often available pre-loved. So let's get into what fits inside these bags. Okay, so let's get started. First up, we have my friend Emily's absolutely beautiful YSL blogger bag. So we are gonna open up the bag really quickly, take a look inside. It has a beautiful thick leather tassel. I didn't realize how substantive the leather tassel was, both in terms of like pieces, but also just weight and heft. I almost feel like this makes up all of the weight of the bag. 
Um, but we open it up and we have a really sweet little bag. So we have a smooth leather on the front and back. The back we do have a little slip pocket, which we'll take a look at. It's got the beautiful black and gold combination, which I really think if you are looking for a YSL bag, you're looking to get one of your first pieces. I think you really want to stick with classic combinations. And for me with YSL, that is the black and gold. So we're going to open up the top. And in here, we've got sort of a larger pocket right here, a smaller pocket, the main body, and then two pockets on the side. Now the pockets are very slim. They're more so card holders. But we're just going to go through and see a couple of different things that fit. And then I'm going to show you if I was using this as an everyday bag, what I'd keep inside. So we're going to start off with just showing some essentials. So first up we have, this is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. This is basically what I use as a wallet every single day. And as you can see, it fits in there very, very nicely. Nothing to worry about. Then I'm going to go in with my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder that has my car key fob on it. So if I'm looking for a bag for every day, those are my two essentials. And as you're going to see, that does take up most of the room of the bag, but not, not all of the space. So we're going to add our hand sanitizer because it is 2021. Uh, we're going to add our AirPods because for me, those are an absolute necessity. And then we're going to add in our face mask. Now this is just a little disposable one off Amazon. Um, I actually bought these for a recent vacation. So we're going to pop that in there. And then that leaves us just enough room to add a lipstick and I think a pen. Is the pen going to fit? Yeah, the pen will kind of fit in there. Um, I probably wouldn't put the pen just because it is a little long. So instead we'll go in with a hand cream. I find hand creams are pretty essential um, just given how drying uh, COVID can make our hands. And as you can see, that all closes up really nicely, no bulges, nothing sticking out. That is how I would use this bag as an everyday bag, which I really think is how it's intended. But because not every day is the same, I did want to show you a couple other things that can fit in the bag just for your consideration. Of course, depends on your lifestyle needs, depends on what you're looking for out of this bag. So first up, we have my YSL, I flipped that around, we've got my YSL card holder. So if you are a brand on brand kind of girl, fits in nicely. Um, I'm gonna show you, this is my vlogging camera. This is my, still remembering its name, it's a new, new camera to me, is my Sony something. It is my Sony ZV-1. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna fit in nicely. You know what it is, but I'm gonna actually put that in first. Sometimes with smaller bags, you can fit a lot, but it's just all about how you fit it in. So as you can see, that camera fits in really nicely. We're gonna pop in our little card holder, and really that takes up most of the real estate. So let's pop in a Dior lipstick and our AirPods. That seems like something an influencer online would do which of course is what I am. So again, as you can see, it fits in nicely, a touch of bulging right here. And I think that's just because, you know, the camera, um, you know, this isn't just a camera bag. It might be called a camera bag, so it does fit a camera, but presumably we still need to pay for things. Now, what I should say, um, and I'm going to use not my actual cards because I don't want you to see that information, but what you could probably do actually is not include the card holder and instead just use the little slots here. So I'm just gonna show you at the back of my health card and the back of my driver's license, but you can imagine that those are your credit card or you know your library card or whatever it is you're looking for. So I think the camera does fit in really nicely again with the AirPods, maybe with a touch, a little tiny perfume, a little lipstick, zip that right on up. It fits very nicely and you would just probably want to forego the card holder, um, which isn't really a problem because as mentioned, there are uh, card slots in the bag. Now, personally, I'm not really the kind of person who uses card slots. I much prefer having a card holder, but if you are really tight on space, you know, that is a way that you can sort of economize on what you're using. So a couple other things, just your consideration. We have a compact wallet. This is a YSL one. Fits in, but to be quite honest, like I wouldn't use that because it totally fills up the bag. So I'm gonna say that one's a no. I do have my uh, Louis Vuitton. Mm, yeah, no, no, we're not gonna be going in with our mini pochette. Again, just a little too much. I have my Hermes Bastia, which does fit in very nicely. Um, let's go in with a 
little face powder, maybe a little brush so it can touch up. Mm, no, the brush is a little too long. So probably if you're looking to touch up, this might not be the bag for you. But you know, we could go with the Bastia, our AirPods. Do our sunglasses fit? Mm, they just fit. Like they just, like it zips. Okay. So you could go around with your sunglasses. So that's good to know. But if you were looking at this as an everyday bag, I would go in with the key pouch, the key holder, the hand sanitizer, a lipstick, our face mask, our AirPods, and then I would just slip in that hand cream. Maybe not, maybe the hand cream is just a touch optimistic, so let's not do the hand cream. And there we go, that is what I would keep in this bag if I was using it as an everyday option. But I do love knowing that if I was going for a day vlogging around the city, that my vlogging camera fits, you know. I think with a bag like this, you're probably gonna be carrying one lipstick, so I did have a couple different options. Um, but I think that if you are getting tight on space, you're going to want to look at the card holder. Now, one other thing that I wanted to show. So this is my iPhone 11. And if you take a look, it is a little longer than the bag. So let's see if it fits in. The only reason that I'm not as worried about if the phone fits in the bag, to be quite honest, um, is for a phone like this, it's probably gonna be in my hand and for a bag this small, okay, so it does fit in, but for a bag this small, your phone's gonna be taking up a lot of space. So I tend to carry my phone just in my hand, but if needed, you could always sort of just slip it in the back just for a moment if you need it to be hands-free. So I would probably recommend not keeping the phone in the bag, but it does fit, you would just have to get a little more creative. You know, maybe instead of having a key pouch, you could have your keys floating around as I drop things, you know, or instead of having a card uh, a card case, you could have the cards just in the slots. But what I would probably do if I was using this as an everyday bag would be fill it up like that and carry my phone with me. Okay, so we are gonna be comparing the blogger bag to the YSL Wallet on Chain. Now, I have a full review on this bag. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. Um, but this was my first designer piece and I still I still love it. I still love this piece. It hasn't gotten the love and appreciation it's deserved during the pandemic because of course this is more of an evening bag whereas I really do feel like the blogger bag is a little bit more of a, I don't wanna say a trendy bag but it's definitely more of an everyday bag. Whereas I feel like this bag is just an absolute classic that you're gonna love it at 20, 30, 40, 50 and I am sure that someone is gonna to want to inherit this from you. So this bag, um, the big difference just off the bat is that it has a beautiful, beautiful sort of grained leather in YSL's iconic chevron. Again, it's in that black and gold combination, which if you can't tell from the uh, little, little leather goods I was showcasing with the blogger bag, a uh, little bit of a thing for me. So let's open this bag up. And first of all, it is uh, detachable, so you don't have to carry the chain on it. I tend to like having the chain as an option because at an evening event, it allows me to go um, hands-free if I need to, which is especially great if you have maybe a glass of wine in one hand and some little hors d'oeuvres in the other. Um, but you can also obviously just hold this bag just like this, you know, without the, without the chain. So when we open it up, this bag, it has, Emily just counted for me, and I believe it's 24 card slots between this section and this section over here. There is no pocket on the back, so if you need to get anything out of this bag, you've got to open it up. And then in the middle, it has a nice zip compartment, which is great if you've got any um, little valuables, cards, um, you know, bits of jewelry, perhaps you uh, are getting in the Uber on the way home from an event and you've been wearing your earrings too long and they're kind of bothering you, which I'm just saying I've been in that situation and that's something I like to use this little section here for. So this bag is obviously bigger, but much, much, as I try to get this in frame, much more narrow. So I'm gonna show you a few different combinations of what fits inside and then how I would style this bag. Um, I'm gonna say as an everyday bag that veers into evening. 
First up, we have our YSL key pouch. That fits very nicely in the bag, as you can see, without any bulging. What we're really looking for in this bag is that slimness. Okay, so we're gonna leave our key pouch in there. Now, next up, we have our six key holder. Although, to be honest, for an event like this, there are two options. I would either open it up flat like this, which I don't really like doing because I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of having protection for your keys. So what I would actually just do is take my house key and car key, take it off the chain, and then just slip it in. I really think that this is just too bulky with the car fob in it to fit inside, so we're not going to worry about that one. Um, now, let's see, we're at a very important event, so we need a red lipstick. So this is a Dior lipstick. So we're gonna slot that in there. Definitely could fit your sunglasses. We're gonna add our AirPods. We're gonna add our face mask, which is an absolute necessity, and a hand sanitizer. And to be honest, that is about what you are going to fit in the YSL wallet on chain. Now, a couple of other things that you could do, if we take out the sunglasses, because we don't wanna just ram things in our bag, right? If we're going to a special event in the evening, I always like to have a face powder on me. So we're gonna put our powder in there and we're gonna add a brush. This is my Refer 18 brush, um, which is a brush I really enjoy for under the eyes. Definitely gonna to wanna to keep our hand sanitizer in there and our mask. And then let's just see if we can fit our phone. Because if not, I'm gonna show you what I would... Yeah, no, the phone is gonna be too much. So we're gonna take the phone out for just a moment. And there we go, it closes nicely. Again, no weird bulking or gaping. You are gonna see, of course, um, the extra space on the side expand, but not in a way that I think looks unflattering or looks like you're trying to ram too much in there. So we are gonna take out our um, our little key pouch, which as mentioned, there are tons of card slots on both sides. So you don't really need the key pouch. You could put your, you could put your cards in there, but let's slip our phone in along with our lipstick and our AirPods. And that should close very nicely. So that's another way that you could use this bag. Now, what I will say is ultimately, I really do feel like this is an evening bag, whereas the YSL blogger bag is a daytime bag. We have seen the bags. 
we've taken a look at what fits inside, we've compared them, we've talked about price, we've talked about availability, we've talked about what does it look like if these two bags got married and had a child because they have two children, they have a big sister and a little sister. And I wanted to share with you some of my final thoughts. So the first thing I just wanted to share is that neither one of these bags is necessarily better than the other. I will say that the blogger bag fits a surprising amount in it uh, when you consider how petite it is. And I mean this bag, this is my bag. I love this bag. We are very, very happy together. This is a beautiful evening clutch. I think when it comes down to deciding between these two bags, it's really just about how do you plan on using them? What do you wanna do? If you are looking for an everyday bag, maybe you have a little bit of a casual or even, I feel like this bag sort of straddles preppy, but also a little bit, not punk, but a little bit more of an edgy style then I think that the YSL Blogger is perfect for you. Definitely a great daytime bag. There's no reason that you can't transition this into evening if you want to, but I think it has a really cool detail. Like this is a really, really substantial tassel that I think is really lovely. And honestly, I didn't realize just how thick and heavy it was until I really got to get my hands on this bag. So thank you to Emily for letting me, letting me play with it. But I think this is a great bag if you are looking to go hands-free, maybe you're you know, walking through the city, maybe you're doing a weekend away, you know, I referenced maybe if you're flying around you know, and you're in the airport and you just wanna have your essentials on hand, then I think this is a really, really lovely bag. Ultimately, I would describe this bag as very, very cute. And in a lot of ways, it reminds me of my Nano Speedy. So I'm gonna leave a video I have on my Nano Speedy linked down below. But I will say that through the course of the pandemic, I've really come to appreciate very small bags, minimal bags, bags that just let you carry the bare essentials. And I think that they look really, really cute. So I think this is a really, really sweet bag. And I have to say that at the start of playing with this bag for the purpose of this video, didn't really think it was for me. And by the end of it, like I'm just saying that what if, what if Emily just forgot this forever with me? Um, but no, what, what I am saying is that I would definitely consider adding this to my collection, not right away, but I think it's a really, really sweet bag. Now, my bag is of course the, has a little floof on it. My bag is the YSL wallet on chain. This bag is a lot heavier. It's a lot more substantial. Um, and this is the kind of bag that I think looks stunning as an evening bag. I don't love this as a daytime bag and I don't really use it as a daytime bag. So I really think if you're looking for a daytime bag, you're gonna want this or some of those Lou options that I shared with you a little bit earlier in the video. But I think that between the shape of this bag, it's general heft, the, um, you know, the pebbled leather and just, you know, that you can't really fit a ton inside. I think for me, this bag is more of an evening bag. When I purchased this bag, I was looking for an evening bag and I wanted a clutch that I could bring to events, to dinners, to galas, to, to things where I wanted to look really, really classy and grown up. I think this bag does have a really classy grown up vibe. I think it has a very timeless element, whereas I do feel like, while I'm not saying that the blogger bag is trendy, I am saying I don't think it's nearly as timeless as the wallet on chain. I think the wallet on chain is a bag that you're gonna love in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. I really don't see a time in life where I wouldn't love to have a nice clutch for evening events. So ultimately, I'm not saying that one bag is better than the other, but I am saying that each bag is better for a different situation. If you're looking for a beautiful everyday bag, I would really encourage you to check out this sweet little blogger bag or the two Lou bags that are kind of like the children of these. If you're looking for an evening bag, I really don't think you can go wrong with a wallet on chain. Now I will say, while I don't have it in front of me, the larger of the Lou bags, I'm gonna pop pick right here. Um, I think that's a really beautiful blend of these two bags put together. And that is something that you could wear daytime into evening. So ultimately the choice is up to you. I don't think you can go wrong. I will say this bag is available in a range of colors. This bag is discontinued, but is available pre-loved. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. Really don't think you can go wrong. I think they're both beautiful, beautiful bags. I think they each just appeal to a different person and a different situation. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love to know in the comments down below which bag you prefer and why, or which bag might be a better fit for you and your lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.